All right, time for 7.1, number four. So we'll go to new, we'll go to English, the regular inch situation, start that part. Start a 2D sketch, choose a plane, and uh, let's start by putting in a rectangle. So our rectangle is gonna start at the origin. And it looks like our grid spacing is 0.25 inches. And I honestly don't even remember what the grid spacing or what the number of units for this is. So it looks like the width is five plus three, maybe eight times 0.25. And the height is maybe six. So tab six times 0.25. All right, there is the sort of front of it, finished sketch. Let's extrude it and we'll click on it. And the depth is four units. So four times 0.25, that is the block we're gonna use. Okay, we're going to use some subtractive modeling where we're gonna cut some parts out. So I'm gonna start by just cutting this little cute triangle out. Start 2D sketch on the back. And we're just going to throw in a line from there to there. And then we'll dimension the location of that line. So the line, let's see on the top here, is just two units from here to that point. Make sure you grab the point, not the whole line, is 2 times 0.25. And going down, I believe it's three units from the top. So dimension is still working up there. From the top to there is three times 0.25. All right, so now we've got that in the right place. I'm just going to throw in some lines where, that are basically tracing the um, rest of the triangle. Hit finish sketch, and I'm going to extrude this. It only needs to go halfway through, but it actually doesn't matter if it gets all the way through because I'm going to remove a bunch more of that other material after the fact. So I'm just going to go to all, hit OK. All right, I've got that back section cut out. Now I need to cut out this section here. So essentially, I need to create a 2D sketch on here. I need to put a line from there to somewhere over there. And let's just dimension where that line starts and stops. On um, this top part here is just two little units. So from here to there is two times 0.25. And from there to there is going to be, I think it's five times 0.25. All right, that line is ready to go. I don't know what the heck happened there. I'm going to show you a little trick though. So if something weird like this happens and a line just kind of isn't laying where, or feature or point isn't where it's supposed to be, you can just grab the end of that line and make a dimension down to here. And you see how that's 0.63? I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be doing, but it just needs to be zero. And you can kind of force things into place by putting these weird little zero dimensions. They actually work pretty good. Okay, so that line's in place, but we need to chop out all this material here. So let's... Uh, just close that in, and uh, I'm just going to color outside the lines a little bit here, make this huge box, because it doesn't really matter. I don't need to follow the exact contours. I just need to have it bigger then. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I've got this biggest shape here. Go to Extrude, click in the biggish shape, and uh, I want to cut material. All right, and it's getting a little over ambitious here. It says let's go all the way through. We only need to go halfway, so we need two units times 0.25, and that looks suspiciously similar to the one that we're making. I think we're good.